Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, given that we have a geometrical figure that isn't drawn for us, we'll try to draw the triangle out by ourselves based on the instruction stipulated by the question. And then we are going to be using algebra to represent one of the angles and try to see whether we can work out the remaining angles from there. Right? So, given that we have this triangle ABC, AB is equal to BC. So essentially, what we have is... Um, and I source this triangle, right? Okay. So this will be something like what it looks like. Where I'm going to call this A, B, and C, such that these two long sides are the same. Now points P and Q lie on B, C, and A, B respectively, such that A, C equal to A, P equal to P, Q equals to B, Q. Alright. So based on those instructions, we could let this point be P, such that this is equal to this. And then PQ, say somewhere over here, must be equal in length as well. And BQ must also be the same in length. Alright, so right now we have crafted a figure that is supposed to abide by the guidelines suggested by the question. And we are supposed to find this angle over here, angle ABC. So seeing as most of the lines here are equal in length, right? We should be able to identify several isosceles triangles for ourselves, right? So starting from the top, let us let this angle here be X, all right? So let angle ABC be X, X degrees, okay? And if this is X, notice that QPB itself must be X because these two are base angles of an isosceles triangle, all right? So let's write that down. Angle B, P, Q is equal to X as well due to base angles of isosceles. Okay. Alright, I will be only writing this rule once because this rule will be pretty much all we need to solve this question. Alright, so I won't be writing it over and over again. Alright, now this time, if these two angles are X, we can actually use the exterior angle rule to derive this angle over here, which will be the sum of these two angles, which will therefore be 2x over here. All right? So angle AQP will actually be 2x, and this is due to exterior angle. All right? So again, I'll be writing this just once. All right? And now we can see that there's yet another isosceles triangle that we can make use of. Given that this is 2x, being the other base angle, QAP must be 2x as well. Alright, and given that these two are both 2x each, let us try to see whether we can find another exterior angle. Right, but this time is where it gets a little bit tricky because we might be tempted to say that this is my exterior, which would therefore be 4x, right? But notice that this actually isn't your exterior because part of your exterior actually comes from this angle, QPB, over here. So therefore, we should actually say that this angle added to this angle should give you your exterior angle instead. Right, so given that the sum here is 4x and this is x, then angle APC here must be the remainder, which is 3x. Alright, so angle APC would be the sum of two of your base angles, but we have to subtract the other portion of your exterior angle over here to give you 3x. Alright, so now we have the smallest isosceles triangle here. Given this is 3x, then ACP must be 3x as well. Alright, now overall ABC itself is the largest isosceles triangle, which means that these two base angles must be the same. Right, so given that this is 3x and this right now currently is 2x, then this small angle here must be x. All right, so considering triangle APC, right, we can now see that actually the sum of your angles here is x plus 3x plus 3x, which gives us a total of 7x. And as we all know, the sum of the angles within a triangle 
must be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so this is sum of angles in a triangle. Alright, so if 7x is 180, then x must be 180 over 7, which would give us 25, 5 over 7. Alright, so let's go back to the question. They are indeed looking for the value of ABC, which we let it be x from the start, and therefore, this value here is just our answer. Alright, so angle ABC is 25, 5 over 7 degrees. Alright, so this here will be our final answer. So, for these types of geometrical questions where no figure is provided, all right, all we need to do is follow the instructions carefully, all right, and try to draw the diagram such that the, all these lengths are somewhat similar in length, all right? Then we just need to let any angle be x, all right, whether from top to bottom, or whether if we let one of these base angles be x, the question would still be doable, all right? Then we just need to spot uh, and identify all your various isosceles triangles over here. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.